see in my rear view an SUV speeding up behind me on the right side. So I start to get over and I see him like speeding up really fast on my right side. So I, I see he's gonna try and cut over. So I slow down and as he's passing me, I look over and it looks like he's on his phone, you know, looking at something on his phone. Essentially, say if the vehicle's like this and this is the tree line, his truck ends up like this against the tree line and it crushes him uh, inside the vehicle. Yeah, uh, I, I've done two years in Iraq. I've seen a lot, of, a lot of death. We were attacked every single day. Every single day I was over there, we were shot with sniper fire, mortars, RPGs, daily, all day, all night. Um, but the PTSD that most people talk about, I, I've never got any of that from that. But this wreck was different. Um, even now talking about it, I can still visualize it like it's a video playing in my head. Um, I can still feel the rain, I, the smell of the radiator fluid and the fuel. Um, the car had crushed on his legs and you could smell his skin burning. Um, and now every time I'm out driving, that's the only time I ever get PTSD is anytime it starts raining, like I'm super cautious, you know, hands on the wheel, my whole body's tight, tensed up. Um, that's the only time I ever get any kind of PTSD is just from the wreck itself.